Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Technology Mafia here with an unboxing of the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Um, this is a new tablet that I just picked up today. Um, and let's see, I'm going to go ahead and slide this box off. This is what it looks like. So here are the specs on it. It has an 8-inch IPS HD touch display. Um, it comes installed with uh, Windows 8, the full version, and then Office Home and Student Edition. Has front and back cameras. Um, let's see, specs inside. You have an Intel Atom processor, um, two gigs of memory, 32 gigs of storage, and then integrated graphics. So uh, and there are the specs on wireless. You have wireless N and Bluetooth, micro SD card reader, you have five megapixel megapixel camera on the back and then a 1.2 megapixel webcam on the front and the battery is rated for about eight hours of use so there it is here's the box um, and uh, get my knife and cut these two flip it over all right and so there you are so the retail on this is uh 299 dollars so it's quite a good deal for what you get so in the box you get let's see Microsoft product identifier um, so that's obviously because you have um, Windows 8.1 and let's see a USB charger this is a micro USB and that's about it for the box and this is the tab And so, um, there it is. I really like the back. It has a rubberized texture, um, so you can grip it easily. There's the size. I don't know if it'll start up. You see power buttons on the side. Oh, it does. So while it's starting up, let's take a tour. Um, so let's see, on the left side, there's nothing here. On the bottom, we have just a small speaker. Um, and from what I read, that speaker does a good job. Um, it's not stereo, but it's fine. At the top you have a 3.5 millimeter port, and then you have the home button, which is kind of odd. They don't have a home button on the front, but they have it on the top, but it's fine. Um, on, on the right side you have volume up and down. That looks like a microphone. There's the power, your charging micro USB, and then an SD, micro SD card slot right there. Um, the device is very thin um, and there it is so it'll start up and you can register let me lock it for now and I'm going to compare this real quick to the iPad Air just so you can get an idea of what the size is like. Um, I guess this is really more comparable to the iPad Mini um, so there it is for thickness about the same. Um, screen screen wise, if you turn on that, I don't know if you could see where it ends, but it is right next to each other. So cool kind of cool little device um, for the price. They were having a, a special on these um, today for. Um, $99 for the first 20 customers. Good luck trying to get one of those. Um, but they had it on sale for $199 all day. Um, so whether you get it for $300, you get it for $200. It's really kind of cool, cool device. So um, I'm going to get this set up real quick and then we'll cut back through the video. All right, so we have it set up now. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to rotate it. You'll see how it rotates. Um, this is your normal desktop, and you hit this button or the home button up here. It'll take you to Windows 8. So you have all of your titles here. Um, and so far it's pretty responsive. There's Internet Explorer. Loads up MSN just fine. So swipe from the edge to tap start. No, we're not going to set that up. So let's see. Yeah, and you flip it. 
And it's not as quick as the iPad when it comes to rotating, but it does a decent enough job. And then home button. Um, and you have other apps, food and drink, photos, weather. Let's look at the weather app just real quick. So in London, well, you can search a city. There's London, and you can scroll over, it shows you a map, which is kind of cool, historical. So anyway, so far so good. And then if you want to go back to your uh, main desktop, you can go, let's see, where was it? Oh, all the way to the right, and then click desktop. And this is just like a Windows PC, so you have Windows here, you can look at your downloads. You can download Firefox on this if you'd like. Um, you know, it's expandable. Looking at just the, uh, let's see how much space we have on this. Yeah, so this is with nothing installed. This is a 32 gig device, or you can see you have 12.9 gigabytes of free space just because the operating system takes up um, quite a bit of space on, on there, so. Anyway, uh, that's kind of cool. There it is next to the iPad. Um, if you guys have any qu questions, feel free to comment below, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.